Hey everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Sandy Writes. Today I'm going to be doing the rainy day book tag, which is appropriate because it is about to rain any second, it rained earlier, we are in the rainy part of the year. I believe this tag was started by that bookie on YouTube and I will leave a link in the description. So let's begin. So rain, pick a book that makes you cry every time you read it. So the book I've read the most that makes me emotional is The Bunker Diary by Kevin Brooks and that's because the entire book has a feeling of hopelessness the entire thing and you know exactly how it's going to end but it still shocks you, it's it's sadder than you expect and I think this is the kind of book you have to read for the full impact of the sadness like me telling you is not good enough so, Puddle, pick a book where the world is underwater or mostly around water and this one I couldn't think of a specific book so I don't think I've read one that's underwater. I think maybe there's some books on my shelf in another room called Unhooked which I believe is a Peter Pan retelling and it has a boat on the cover so that might be about water. And I have Passenger which is like the boat, like the city in the boat in the bottle. So they're books I believe could be about water but I'm yet to read them. Rain Boots. Pick a book with a character with a damned soul. And I think I'll go with Sebastian from City of Heaven. Is he in all of them? Sebastian from the Mortal Instruments, especially in the City of Heavenly Fire, the ending, he had a damned soul. I won't give you any spoilers. So, Umbrella. Pick a book that was big and comforting. I think I'll go with Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. It's not like a massive book, it's not... It's a longer book than I usually read, and it's set in a, like, a very homely location. It's like Harry Potter... Imagine Harry Potter, the Christmas scenes where it's like warm, it's festive, it's homely. That's a comforting sense and Carry On has that kind of sense going on throughout the entire book. So that is definitely the book that I find comforting, warm. That's my like comfort book. So rainy day movie. Pick a book that was turned into a movie that you love to watch on rainy days. I'm... I don't think I've read many books, watched many films that are like retellings. But I know The Fault in Our Stars is obviously a great book, a great film. I think I might also say the City of Bones movie. The TV show, compared to the book, is not great because the books are amazing. And the film, compared to the books, is maybe not great. But if you view the film from like an own standpoint, it's a pretty good film. And there's quite a lot of scenes like the greenhouse scene and the very ending scene where they're like riding with the motorbike. They're like my favourite scenes. Not of all films, but of that film. Poncho, pick a book with a main character who has an amazing best friend. There's a lot of books that, especially with like female-female friendships, they're like toxic relationships and that happens a lot in YA. But I think a book that does have some good relationships in is John Green. Daisy is one of the like, best friends I've ever read in a book and I would love her to be my friend. So Gutters. Pick a book where the world is dirty and grimy in the way that you would imagine it. Ketterdam. Kaz's name is literally Dirty Hands. It's dirty in a way in like a world that's fueled with greed rather than like oh, there's a bit of dirt there there's some litter over there. It's dirty in a gritty way and I love that. Then Cuddly Pet. Pick a book that had out of this world or very enjoyable animals in it. There's really a shortage of pets in, you, in YA and animals. But I read a book called... Oh, oh I Have a Son. I cannot tell you who it's by right now, but it's called I Have a Son. And they have like a pet monkey in that book and it's like a great pet monkey. And the final question. Oh, sweet treat. Pick a book that had the sweetest ending. And that's a bad question because the book I finished reading last night had a very sad ending. And my mind just went straight to like a John Green book, but John Green doesn't write sweet endings. So that's all the questions we have for today. In the comments below, tell me about a book that has a sweet ending. That's all we have time for now, and I will see you next time. Bye!